Where the golden rays of the sun spreads, its light that lights up the land, where rhododendrons bloom. Situated in the Trans-Himalayan region to the extreme northeast of India, in Arunachal Pradesh, where one discovers the intriguing and one of the most diverse ecological settings. According to its climate, the forest varies from alpine in the north to temperate and from subtropical to tropical forest in the south. Evergreen forest covers for more than 60% of Arunachal Pradesh. West Kameng and Tawang are two districts adjoining each other that reflect the bounty of its amazing rich cultural and natural heritage based on its deep-rooted customs and beliefs. The Monpas, Shedukpen, Akas, Bagoons live together, creating harmony and a togetherness that reflect their unique cultural affinities. During the Losa festival in the month of February, in itself is like welcoming the season of spring that add vibrancy and blessings to the land and its bountiful nature, where wildflowers beautify the deep and dense forests of Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh, with its rich floral and faunal diversity, is unique in itself. Rhododendron is one of the most such unique gift by nature, which is one of the most beautiful wildflowers ever discovered in the history of floristic diversity. The genus Rhododendron belongs to the family Ericaceae and was described by Carl Linnaeus in 1737. Rhododendron is derived from the Greek word rhodo, meaning rose, and dendron, meaning tree. So rhododendron is also known as the rose tree. The most attractive and useful rhododendron is the rhododendron arboreum. In 1796, rhododendron arboreum was discovered by Captain Hardwick from Swalik mountain ranges in Kashmir and thereafter introduced onto Western countries. Since then, Rhododendron Arboreum gained its popularity as a precious ornamental plant, which led to the curiosity to discover other Rhododendron species. The best known species are noted for their many clusters of large flowers. Rhododendron of Arunachal Pradesh occurs from subtropical to alpine forest and form the dominant group, especially in higher altitudes. Majority of the species are found from temperate forests to alpine forest and meadows. There are 111 taxa of rhododendron so far recorded from Arunachal Pradesh, which represents the highest in India. Rhododendron are mostly the denizens of high altitude that occurs from 5,000 feet to 12,000 feet onwards above sea level. Rhodo arboreum blooms in the month of March to April as its peak season, unfolding an incredible view. Rhododendron arboreum is one of the tallest trees. Because of its loftiness, the rhododendron tree was recorded in the Guinness Book of World Records in the 80s, recorded from China and Nagaland in India. The people of Sakprit are all inspired by the deep convictions derived from nature, a conviction to love nature, to conserve nature that is human's lifeline, a conviction in knowing their own existence and the existence of the planet and knowing the eternal creative power of nature is like an inkling with power to survive any disaster. The people here are reaping the benefits of nature at the same time they are conserving its biodiversity. From morning to four in the evening, they work in the industry by collecting rhododendron arboreum from the nearby hills. Many of the species are used in local medicines and also burnt as incense in monasteries and homes. They are the source of firewood and wood for woodcrafts for the people living in high altitude mountains. 
The petals of rhododendron, arborium, are edible and used by the local people for various illnesses and make juices out of petals. But need to be cautious while identifying the wildflower because many rhododendron species are poisonous. Besides these, rhododendron wine, squashes and juices are also being prepared from the only edible flower of rhodo arborium. This way, with holistic approach, they are conserving the essence of the rhododendron arborium from where they make beneficial health-giving juices, which at the same time support their livelihood. This has not only benefited the interdependence of man and nature, but helps to a great extent in maintaining the ecological balance, leading to the sustenance of biodiversity. One of the most popular and magnificent rhododendron is the rhododendron grande. The flowers bloom beautifully in abundance in truss because of its ornamental value is also of horticultural importance. It grows in the temperate forest type, mostly seen by the roadsides and hill slopes on the way to Morsing and Mandela in West Kameng district. On the unbelievable height of more than 13,000 feet above sea level is the Sela Pass in Tawan district of Arunachal Pradesh, where alpine rhododendron forest grows. The leaves are rolled up because of extreme cold. These rhododendron that grow on snow look like a dying plant but are very much alive. In summer, the leaves roll down. Many a species of rhododendron like the rhodofulgens, rhodoflinky and the rhododendron witty grows here. Towards lower Subansari district of Arunachal Pradesh, the vibrant valley of the Apatanis. They practice terrace farming as a result, the nature and the landscape are not disturbed. The forest of Lower Subansari is subtropical evergreen forest. Rhododendron, which occurs on 3,000 to 5,000 feet above the sea level. Rhododendron coxianum, which is only to be found in Arunachal Pradesh, is discovered by British rhododendron collector Mr. Peter Cox in the year 1965 and is endemic here. It also is a small bushy shrub which grows both as terrestrial and epiphyte. The flowers are greenish white while the buds are opening up and becomes white as it fully opens. It has a very sweet fragrance. Rhododendron molmenens has a very sweet fragrance and the petal is shimmery. The color of the petal is pristine white. Leaves are glossy. They are illipidotes. They grow as shrubs to small trees that grow as terrestrial. This is one of the widely distributed rhodo but occurs only in Arunachal Pradesh in India. Rhododendron molmenens has a very sweet fragrance and the petal is shimmery. The color of the petal is pristine white. Leaves are glossy. They are illipidotes. They grow as shrubs to small trees that grow as terrestrial. At the same stretch of subtropical evergreen forest of Lower Subansari, it was amazing to see the biggest rhododendron flower, that is the rhododendron nutali. The bud is pinkish, the leaves are broad and big with rough prominent reticulate leaf, also called bulate because the veins are prominent. The scales are prominent, the black spots are the scales. The size of the leaves are of 20 to 30 centimeters long. The rhododendron looks like trumpet and lily-like, which is different from other rhododendrons. The flower and leaves are big, but the plant is not. It actually is a shrub. Along the biggest rhododendron nutali, one of the smallest rhododendron Santapui occurs here. Santapui is named after a former director of the Botanical Survey of India. Rhododendron Santapui is very rare and endemic in Arunachal Pradesh. Rhododendron formosum is a medium shrub with beautiful white flowers. They are found growing on hill slopes from 3,000 to 4,000 feet above sea level in Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur and Nagaland in India. Till what we have seen is the early flowering group that flowers from the north of February to March. 
These wildflowers act as a climate indicator that informs about the climate change. The main flowering group, the season of rhododendron species, is from the month of April to May. Rhododendron Edgeworthy grows in temperate forest. It has a sweet fragrance. When Rhodo Edgeworthy is in the bud stage, it is pinkish in color, but as it opens up, it turns white. Also, the color of Rhodo Edgeworthy depends on the position of the sunlight it receives and the place it grows. In temperate forest region, Rhododendron Casey was seen occurring. The saffron color casey has fleshy petals and the flowers are tubular in shape, which is quite unique to the species. Along Rhodo casey, another treat to the eyes was the Rhododendron kendricki in amazing pink. The leaves are the distinguishing characteristics of the flower. The leaves of the Rhodo kendricki has thinner, undulate margin and smooth surface and are pointed. The trues are similar to Rhodo arboreum. As soon as the temperate forest ends, the alpine forest begins. Here, Rhododendron pudurusum is thickly populated. But along Rhodo pudurusum, Rhodo glycophyllum and Rhodo falconeri were growing together. This is the leaf bud, not to be confused with the flower bud. The flower bud is pink in color, even the flower is light pink. The flower bud is pink in color, even the flower is lighter pink, but when it matures, it turns paler. The leaves are broad and the lower surface is silvery-like, called indumentum. The leaves are without scale, called elipidots. Rhododendron camliforum was seen in this month of April, in this alpine forest without flowers. The highest rhododendron taxa is recorded from Arunachal Pradesh in India, Arunachal Pradesh has 111 out of 123 taxa recorded from India. The detail of the rhododendron is studied by scientist Dr. Ashiho Asosi Mao. Here you can see behind me rhododendron arborem, subspecies uh, cinnamomum and variety russium. This is one of the eatable rhododendron species. The juice make, is made from this and it's a health drink and it's also good for many other purposes. And the group of this rhododendron is important in today's context. It is one of the indicator plants for climate change. What one can study the climate change by studying this rhododendron species. On the way to a place called Nagajiji, a place in West Kameng district, bordering Bhutan, Rhododendron Kesingi occurs. In this forest, big trees of Rhodo falconeri, Rhodo hotsunai, Rhodo Kesengi are populated and are seen growing together. The flowers of both the Rhodo pudurusum and Kesengi bear the same nature. When it blooms out of its bud, its pink then turns palish to white in color when mature. It bears more than 20 flowers in a truss at a time. The leaves are silvery. The size of the leaves are about one foot in length and the veins are deeply impressed that distinguishes from Rhodopodurusum that grows together in this temperate to subalpine forest. Old plant that is tree-like has smaller leaves, but the younger plants have huge leaves. The mossy trunk and branches help in identifying the Rhodo Kesengi. The trees are of medium in size. The minute study needed to know the detail as seen under magnifying lens. The sudden unpredictable appearance of fogs and clouds have a dramatic effect. That's the beauty of nature and the wildflowers in this cloud forest. 
Here, Rhododendron hopsoni occurs, and Rhodo margaritum was seen on a treetop growing along hopsoni. After the peel off, the bark becomes smooth and silky. The peeling of bark is one of the main characters for identification of Rhodo hopsoni from other closely allied rhododendrons. The color of Rhodo hopsoni is deep pink and leaves with brownish lower surface are smooth and glossy and the light pink Rhodo kesengi grows along is the beauty of togetherness. This place is Mandalak in West Kamen district. Here I can see so many species flowering such as Rhododendron podurosum, Rhododendron falconeri, Rhododendron hopsoni, Rhododendron argipetplum, like that. If we talk about the Rhododendron species in the world, in the world there are about 1,000 species are recorded. And in India, if you say in India, we have about 125 taxa recorded. And if in, in India, Arunachal has the highest number of species in, in, the, in, in India. We have about 115 taxa recorded in Arunachal today. And in the world, if we look at Western China and Eastern Himalaya has the largest concentration of rhododendron species. In Arunachal, even though in spite of all these large number of species available in the wild, we have not made use of it. If you look at the rhododendron horticulture industry, the Western country has collected all over, from all over the world, especially from Western China and Eastern, Eastern Himalaya, that is like Arunachal Pradesh. And today they are cultivating all these species in Europe, and you can find them growing in the garden. And they are now at present a multi-million dollar business. So it is very sad that our state, like Arunachal Pradesh, has not utilized the potential of this, uh, this species. Now, the state can develop into ecotourism for the, uh, with this rhododendron species. It has a lot of potential during the flowering season, like up from April to June, a lot of visitors can come and see the nature habitat of rhododendron, like in this uh, part of Mandala to Nagajiji and Tawang. You can see in the wild all flower everywhere. Here, the rhododendron kesengi variety albino, or purely in white form, is seen, which is rare form species. The truss are amazingly large. The bushy nature of the tree, where lichens are seen growing out of the branch, signifies cold and high altitude and polluted air, indicating undisturbed ecosystem. The higher the altitude, the higher abyss forest become dominant. In places like Mandela and Nagajiji, few inhabitants of Monpa people are there. Here, the local people play an important role in conserving this richness of biodiversity. It was incredible to know and learn the local name for rhododendron. The Monpas call it Udung Minto. Rhododendron cinnabarinum, the flower is very fleshy and tubular to campanulate, meaning funnel-shaped. The length is of about 5 cm. The lower surface of the leaf has lipidotes, meaning the scales. Rhodocina barinum grows as a shrub. Rhododendron campylocarpum is one of the most poisonous of all. The mechanism of this rhododendron, which bears a mountain laurel containing grionotoxins and glycosides, which affect the gastroenteric in the stomach, and intestines and cardiovascular systems may be lethal and are clinical signs leading to tomesis, diarrhea, depression, muscular weakness and impaired vision. A poisonous compound is found in rhododendron nectar producing low blood pressure, shock and even death. Because of this poison, most of the animals like yak of the valley hills doesn't eat they can even sense by their instinct. Rhododendron camphilocarpum is a small bushy shrub with yellowish flowers. Younger buds are yellowish, but the older buds are pinkish in color. The leaves are glossy and thick. The lower surface of the flowers are not too thick. The petals are thin. 
all these rodos grow together on snow line areas around 10,000 feet above sea level. Along Rhodo Camphilocarpum, Rhododendron lenatum was seen occurring. Rhododendron triflorum occurs at 8,000 feet above sea level. The flowers are beautiful. When triflorum flowers bloom in full, it opens wide almost up to flat. It's a shrub that grows up to 2 to 3 meters in height. Rhododendron glycophyllum was seen in good population. The humble bee seen has helped in the pollination of the whole. The healthy flowers with its mild fragrance has added beauty to the nature. Rhododendron thompsoni occurs at 10,000 feet above sea level. The species is easily identified by the cup shape and the deep calyx. The leaves are rolled generally to conserve water. The flowers are fleshy, very thick. The barks peel off. This is the month of May. The whole hill should have been covered with flowers, particularly in this area. The plants and flowers are not healthy. Heaven bloomed in time could be probably due to climatic change. By the riverside at Nurang Valley, Rhododendron tussarins was found flowering. The pink flakes or the dots inside the flowers is the main character of identification. The leaves are rusty brownish underneath. The leaves are of about 7 cm in length to 3 cm in width. The color of Rhodotasarins varies from white to pinkish. The species is one of the most beautiful bushy shrub rhododendrons when full in bloom. Rhododendron bailey seen occurring near just one girl. The prominent pink dots or the scales on the pedicle means the stalk of flowers on petals that stretches up to the stem also highlights the uniqueness of Rhodo bailey. The lower surface of the leaves are covered with rusty brown scales. It basically is a small shrub. Rhodo bailey was earlier only reported from Sikkim in India but found in Arunachal Pradesh also. The Rhodo Madini was seen populated over the mountains. At the same time, the Jung waterfall adoring the beauty of the land. Engulfed in the fragrance of Rhododendron Madeni is a heavenly hamlet called Jung. The fragrance is indeed invigorating. The characteristic of Rhododendron Madini is that it's pinkish and greenish when in the flower bud stage, but when it matures, it turns to white. But at the bud stage, it is usually greenish. The flowers are large and fleshy. Rhodo Madini is a shrub and widely distributed in many places in Tawang district. This is Rhododendron fulgens, growing here along Rhodo Thompsoni forest. Brilliantly pinkish to deep red in color is usually seen. The leaves are more of ovate or oval in shape. The lower surface of the leaves have soft brownish indumentum. Flower of Rhodo fulgens are similar to Rhodo arboreum. The bark peels off. Fulgens are found occurring on 11,000 to 13,000 feet above sea level in snow line areas. Rhododendron neriflorum are very common in Tawang and Jung areas. The leaves are narrow and long, similar to nerium leaf. That is why the Rhododendron derives its name from the flower nerium. The buds are deep maroon in color. Inside the petals at the base of the flower, there is a prominent deep dark nectar pouch. Near snow-capped mountains of India's final frontier at Bumla Pass, Rhododendron whitey has taken a very different look due to high altitude and snow covers. Plants and leaves are small in size. Branches are thickly bushy but stunted. Rhododendron setosum. Setos means the hairy scales on the margin of the leaves 
and Rhododendron nivelle occurs together with Rhodovitae. The crushed leaves gives an aromatic smell. This smell leads to dizziness, rather a small headache that lasts for hours. It is interesting to see the migratory birds called pipit. The natural richness of this place might have invited them to relish the best of forage found here. This is the mighty mountains from the final frontier India by the Indo-Bhutan border where the Suga Alpine or the Abyss Forest stand tall as a guardian to protect the brilliant landscape of this natural habitat. This is the Shungesta or the Madhuri Lake. This lake had been formed because of the 1950 earthquake where the force of the hills have blocked the river giving it a facelift in the form of a lake. The dead abyss trunk stands still as a testimony to the process of change. Rhododendron campanulatum are seen occurring here surrounding the lake. The rhododendron is purplish in color. Even tiny birds like Titi finds its heavenly bliss here. With the richest biodiversity growing each minute, without any kind of intrusion of man-made mechanism. The growth of lichens have proved the undisturbed ecosystem and the purity of biodiversity preserved by Mother Nature. The location of the secret wildflowers shelters the landscape of the planet. Equal importance to nature's inbuilt navigation system deforestation for farm and habitation as gravest threat. It highly acts as a climate indicator. They are the main supporter of the ecosystem in high altitudes. They are so dominant that other species are also dependent, maintaining the ecological balance not only to nature but gifting its benefits to mankind. Human behavior, their destructive habits and the negative impact of development is accelerating climate change and setting in motion a chain of disastrous events that will put the future of these species into jeopardy. Scientific facts and findings have proved humans are altering the Earth's climate in a dangerous way, leading the planet in approaching a dangerous climate tipping point. Throughout the evolutionary process, the Earth has gone through drastic biological changes including population explosion, rapidly rising temperature and clearance of the majority of Earth's surface for urban development and other agricultural related activities. The net effect causing to traumatic extinction of species. A biologically impoverished Earth would rob vital ecological functions like that of insects and birds that help pollinate crops, forests that provide clean water, rather reducing the fertile breeding ground to zero or nothingness. Global warming or the synonymous term climate change caused by air pollution generated by human activities threatening humans as well as the health of the planet, disrupting weather patterns, creating violent hurricanes. Global warming today is a man-made disaster where everything is going to an end. Mira 
Mirahala masha pijula Allah shoh shoh Allah shoh shoh